how do you make 3000 Kenya shillings net every single day from manufacturing soap not just soap but herbal infused soap soap that smells like lavender smells like cinnamon soap that is infused with herbal things that are going to make it luxurious so not just any other soap but luxurious soap this is what you are going to need to make 3 thousand kenya shillings net profit every single day so you're going to need around two thousand grams of oil and fat in these proportions 50 percent of animal fat yes animal fat mafuta ya ngombe that that has been rendered down of pig fat or whatever animal fat that you may find but it is basically the cheap stuff that you'll be able to get off butcheries and melt it down to get the fat that you need to have the 50 percent of or 1000 grams of animal fat then you're going to need 20 percent of coconut oil why coconut oil because coconut oil is what gives the lather the more you have the coconut oil in a mixture the more a soap has more lather as you wash your hands or your body with it then you're going to have the next 30 percent as palm oil or canola oil whichever is available to you because you're going to have these three oils and fanny more fat mixing together so that they can be able to help you come up with the soap that we are talking about then the other thing you have to decide which herbs and which infusion are you going to use you could be able to use tea, tea, tea tree oil you could also be able to use uh, things like cinnamon you could also be used to be able to use lavender whatever is available to you you could also be able to use so many other things but decide which flavor that you want to use but in our case you could use um, rosemary so let us say you are going to use rosemary because that is available to most it is relatively cheap and is going to give a good green color that is going to be attractive to most clients so there you have uh, your herbal so you're going to get quite a big bunch of it so what you're going to do you're going to melt down all the fat and all the oil to come up with a solution that is around 48 degrees celsius so not very hot not very cold but basically right 10 degrees above the normal body temperature of a person because you are not trying to cook the rosemary you're just trying to infuse and remove the flavor and all the good things from the the the, the 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 herbal stuff to the oil you want to eat enter the oil so you're going to need 48 degrees of all this fat and oils mixed together then once they're all mixed together you put in as much as you can in terms of the the the, 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 the herbal solutions that you're going to use so for us the rosemary as much rosemary as you're going to put in that so that all the rosemary is below the oil level below the oil level because when it's on top of the oil level it is not going to make much difference because it is not infusing to the oil and there here is where you are able to think and able to come out with the infusion so for you to infuse you're not cooking the rosemary you're just having enough temperature of around 48 degrees maintaining there about for six to twelve hours so that the infusion can be able to get out of the rosemary and into the oil so that is the first thing that you're going to do so you're going to heat it up to 48 degrees or 50 degrees there then put it in a place that is going to maintain that temperature for six hours seven hours continuously so that all the flavor and all the things are flowing into the oil the oil doesn't solidify because once it is so this solution solidifies because it has animal fat then you're not going to infuse as much so maintaining at 50 to 60 50 to 60 on the lower end 50 on the highest end 60 so ensuring that the temperature is constant so you might have to have a cooler box you might have to get those baskets that women use for cooking something to maintain the temperature something padded something that has insulation that is going to maintain that temperature because you are not cooking so you might have temperature to be raised up by some cooker but maintain at that amount of temperature so ensure now this solution with the rosemary stays for six hours to 12 hours basically overnight so by morning all this color from the rosemary and all this flavor and smell and scent has left the particles and has gone into the mixture of animal fat and oil 
So now you have infused the flavor that you want. This is the same thing that you do with other herbs that you might use. Is it lavender? Is it cinnamon? Whatever others that you might use to do, because I'm showing you a basic formula and how you can be able to bake some basic money. But whatever you create is your intellectual property and is how you're able to make even more money by incorporating more flavors, incorporating more styles, more scents, more things that you might want to incorporate. So, the rest is upon you to create. So you have the inf infused oil. It is around 40 degrees uh, Celsius, uh, 50 degrees Celsius. So at that temperature, now you're going to get high, some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. And for the 2,000 grams of mixture, you're going to sieve out first all the rosemary using a linen cloth. Rinse out and remove all the particles, solid particles of rosemary in that oil so that what you are left with is the infused oil and fat. You remove, put aside, then you're going to add the sodium peroxide, 100 grams of sodium peroxide in some water solution that then you're going to dissolve. Then you're going to take that mix and put in this infused oil and blend so that this mixture is mixing through and through. So as you mix, the solution becomes solid and solid and solid. This time, now you're going to take this solution and have molds like baking tins that people use for, cook, for, 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 for cooking. But basic molds that you're going to first identify and have. And you're going to have some baking paper around it because you do not want the soap to stick to the pan or the mold that you're using. So you're going to have some pan basically on top because you're creating molds. And as you mix this sodium peroxide, uh, sodium hydroxide solution, it is now solidifying and becoming like a paste. However, it is not, it's not going to solidify immediately. So you're going to pour it out into these molds. And then additionally, if you wanted to have additional smell, that you wanted to use some essential oils to accelerate some smell, at the point of mixing this sodium hydroxide is the time that you use these essential oils to add the smell. If you want to add additional things at this point, this is where you do it. But once you've put them to the mold and ensure that there are no air bubbles by say, shaking the tin, just the same way you do with baking cake. Ensure there's no air bubbles. And if you want to do some designs on top, it's upon you. But this is a skill that you learn as you go. But I'm teaching you the basics so that you can be able to make the 3,000 shillings every month. So with those solutions and the tins that you have, you will determine how the soap will look like because this is artisanal soap. This is not the bar soaps that people are buying. So it is going to fetch a higher market, a higher market for the product. It is not going to be normal bar soap. It is going to be bathing soap and luxurious bathing soap that will be said to be organic, that will be said to be renewable and all these fancy things. So you have now the things in the mold. Now you allow them to cool slowly. Again, in the cooler that we were talking about, slowly, so it doesn't cool immediately. So that what happens, it doesn't crack and forms a solid thing. So leave it for a few hours. Leave it for a few hours so that it is able to solidify evenly and becomes as solid as what you would get after baking a cake. So that is how it will look like. Now, remove it from the mold. Cut it in the shapes that you desire. And in this case, you will have around 40 bars of soap. And if you're going to sell each for 100 shillings, you're going to have 4,000 Kenya shillings as gross money that what you're going to sell from the product. Because remember, this is a luxurious product. So if you sell 100, you're actually selling on the lower end. Depending on how you market and the clients that you have, you're going to sell even more money because now this is luxurious soap. Then you're going to cut it. Package it. Now the packaging is what you will determine on your end. How do you do it? Do you sell? Do you have particular products that you have printed out? But how you package is your business. But you're going to sell at a hundred shillings minimum price. So this is going to be your costs. The oil, the fat, and uh, the oil and the fat is going to come to around five hundred shillings for the whole batch. The fifty shillings is going to be for the uh, uh, herbal infusion, the the rosemary that we are talking about. Then 50 shillings is going to be for the sodium hydroxide. 50 to 100 grams of sodium peroxide is around that amount of 150 to 150 thereabout. Then we are going to put some heating costs, but it is relatively very little heating cost because you're, you're 
maintaining at around 50 degrees, which is not a lot of energy. And then you're going to do some packaging materials coming to around a thousand shillings as cost of doing business. So for the 1,000 shillings, you're making 4,000, you're selling, your cost is 1,000 and you're selling 4,000, you are going to make 3,000 shillings from what you've produced. But before you sell, you have to allow your soap to stay for a while because it is generally a bit on the alkaline side. You don't want people to buy your soap and it irritates their skin. So you want to wait for three, four, five weeks testing with a pH paper to ensure that the pH is anything below 8.5 to around 7. Because remember, sodium hydroxide is a very alkaline uh, item, which is around 14. So you want it to come down in the pH scale of acidity and alkalinity to around a midpoint, slightly above the middle point so it is around 8.5 to 7 before you can sell to clients so this may take three weeks to around six weeks depending on the conditions and on the mixtures and how you did your own things but you may be able to quite bring it down to a science and here is the beauty because I have not given you everything, you can always work around your formulas. You can use goat milk, you can use camel milk. In fact, goat milk soap is extremely expensive, especially for people with sensitive skins. So how you mix it is upon you to figure out. You can also use less of one oil and more of another. If you use more coconut oil in the mixture, then you're going to have soap that is a lot has a lot more lather and feels softer on the skin. If you're going to use uh, more fat, then it's going to be harder soap. So depending on how you see it and how you want to produce it, you could be able to now do other mathematics as a result to that. If you want to have liquid soap, this is where you use potassium hydroxide. But you might need to use a lot more quantities to come up with liquid soap. So this is the mathematics and how you're able to make 3,000 basic money profit every single day by selling 40 bars of herbal infused soap i hope you're learning and you're becoming better in your financial affairs remember i'm here to talk to, to educate to elevate and to motivate you in your business to talk about all things of finance that are going to help you grow your business thank you and enjoy your day